Hi Ruhika, thank you for all your hard work on the maze. I'd like to show you a couple of things that will make it easier and maybe help you do some things you were trying to do but couldn't quite figure out how. First of all, these bits of code are not started up. I'm not sure what you're planning to do with them. I can ask you that in class. So we'll just get them out of the way for now. Um, the first thing is that you have this uh, loop here to detect arrow keys pressed, which is perfectly logical, but uh, Scratch gives you a way to do this a little more easily. And the way that works is under the control uh, selections, you can directly uh, detect a key press. So you don't need a loop for that. So if we say for the up arrow here, we can say change y by 2. That would be all you need. And then we could, um, we can get rid of this part. And that will work just as well. And it's even simpler. Um, I could uh, let you do these others on your own. But there's another thing I want to show you, and that is how do we prevent the cat from going through the wall? Uh, we can try to steer the cat as best we can, but if we're playing the game, we'd like to make it so the cat can't go through the wall. And the way we can do that is with the same uh, trick we used for Pac-Man. We'll edit the cat and give it a little bumper here. We'll make it a circle. And just put a little bumper ahead of the cat. Okay. And what we want to do is make the cat not able to move if that bumper is touching the wall. So let's go back to the scripts here and see how we can do that for this particular one anyway. So instead of change y by 2, what will the first change we'll make is to first point the cat in an upwards direction. And then instead of changing y, we'll just move it, because sprites always move in the direction they're pointing. Um, and instead of 2, I'll make it 5 so that the game moves a little faster. Okay? Now we can, we can try that. And for the up arrow, if I press up, the cat turns and moves up. Okay. Now... But now we want to see if the cat has run into the wall. So how do we do that? We'll go back to control and put this in an if. And what's the condition? What we want is for that yellow bumper not to be touching the walls, which are this color. So. First, we'll need a not, because we want it to move if this is not happening. And now let's go to sensing. We could say the cat is touching the color of the wall, but then um, the cat might get stuck. We only want the cat to stop if the bumper is touching the wall. So we'll say the color is touching the color of the wall, the color of the bumper. So first we need to get a sample of the bumper color, and let's see if we can do that here. Uh, this could be rather tricky because the cat is so small. We could grow the cat, but I'll see if I can have good aim here. So let's see if we can get that color, and I'll be very careful here. Nope, missed it. Let's try again. You know what I think? I think the dropper should change color depending on what it's over. And then we, there, now I got it. Now we want to the, the cat to move if the, the yellow bumper is not touching the wall. And it'll be much easier to get the color of the wall here. 
Now we're ready to go. Okay, so let's try this. And I'll move the cat up. And now I'm hitting the key, and it ran into the wall, and it stopped. Okay, so let's fix this for the other directions now. And instead of making a copy of this for every direction, let's do a little trick here. OK, first of all, let's get the down arrow key. So go to controls here, get down arrow. And we want to point it in the direction down. OK, and now we want it to move. But instead of copying this, let's use a trick. Let's go back here and say, when I receive advance, because we want to advance the cat in whatever direction it's pointing. OK, and now we'll move this down here. And then we'll have it broadcast advance. And now we can just do this again down here. OK, now we're finished with uh, this one. Now we just need to do it for left arrow and right arrow. And now we can use another trick. We can make a copy of this, duplicate and just change it to left arrow and change this to left. And then we'll make another copy and change this to right arrow and change this to right. Whoops. And now we're done. We've completely replaced this stuff and it should work now. So let's try it. Now I'll press the right key, and I'll press the down key. OK, it's hit the wall, and it won't move anymore. So I'll have to turn it, and now it'll move. OK, you get the idea.